Greetings, people of Earth. Welcome to the second edition of News from Deep Space. Let's kick things off, shall we? The Chinese government has abandoned the use of facial recognition software for the purpose of spying on its own citizens. An official state spokesman for China's domestic spying program stated, We really love the idea of being able to spy on our own citizens using facial recognition technology. But the fact of the matter is, it just doesn't work. I mean, who are we kidding? We all look alike. A Hungarian Vatican-supported cardinal, Peter Erdo, stated at a meeting of the world's bishops that Catholics who remarry can partake of the Holy Communion, but only if they never have sex again. Gee, given a choice between sex and the body of Christ, that's a tough call. On one side, sex is pretty fun and enjoyable, but Christ tastes like little ice cream cone wafers. Not sure which way I'd go there, but if I'm allowed to put chocolate syrup on my body of Christ, communion wins hands down for me. Randy Meeks, a Texas sheriff, recently said that people have a moral obligation to obey the police because their authority comes from God. Well, I guess I'm off the hook because I don't believe in God. I'm half Italian. I worship the flying spaghetti monster, obviously. And my all-knowing divine pasta being says, all sheriffs in Texas have to suck my cock whenever I say so. Of course, I have inner conflicts about that because the gods of my German ancestry side teach me that all sheriffs in Texas must be anally raped with not worst. So, who the fuck knows? Maybe a little of both? Variety never killed nobody. In celebrity news, a touching scene from Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Kris Jenner is seen going through Bruce Jenner's old clothes with Kim, and she begins to cry and says, Seeing these clothes and realizing that Bruce has thrown them out makes it real. Gee, I would have thought the hair, makeup, and fake tits would have made it real, but if a trip to the Salvation Army is the reality check you need to figure out that your ex-husband is a tranny, then so be it. Whatever it takes. Ex-UFC light heavyweight champion John Jones pled guilty to a hit and run after he ran a red light and smashed into a pregnant woman's car, breaking her arm. After fleeing the scene, he returned to grab some cash out of his car and fled again. Police found marijuana paraphernalia in Jones's car. The judge gave Jones 18 months probation and ordered him to speak at 72 speaking appearances. Speaking appearances? What's he gonna say? Hi, I'm John Jones. I got high and ran a red light and crashed into a pregnant lady's car and fled the scene twice and got no jail time. Boy, I really learned my lesson. Don't do what I did or you'll have to do buttloads of speaking appearances like this one. 72 to be exact. Thanks for coming out tonight. In Hancock County, Indiana, school and anti-marijuana activist groups debuted marijuana goggles in an attempt to fight teen drug use. The company, Fatal Vision, that makes the goggles states, they simulate the distortion of visual information and altered visual perception, loss of motor coordination, and reaction time that results from recreational marijuana use. Boy, I can't wait to try a pair of those suckers on when I'm stoned. I wonder if my local head shop has them. The U.S. Postal Service reported that they had a $586 million net loss for the third quarter of fiscal 2015. Gee, maybe they should just FedEx all their shit. With wages down 5% in 42 years, Jamie Dimon, Chairman, President, and Chief Executive Officer of J.P. Morgan Chase, who previously served on the Board of Directors of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, says, Stop complaining! At least you have an iPhone. I don't know what delusional world this condescending prick lives in, but I don't have an iPhone. I have an Obama phone. And Jamie Dimon needs to be raped with it as far as I'm concerned. And Jamie, you're not going to like it. My Obama phone doesn't have a vibration feature. The mystery of where the ISIS terrorists in Syria and Iraq have been getting all those Toyota trucks they've been driving around has been solved. Turns out they received them from the U.S. State Department, which I find to be infuriating. I mean, if the terrorists are getting all these Obama trucks, I should be able to get an Obama truck, too, to complement my Obama phone. 
Former CIA director David Petruis suggested funding and training Al-Qaeda fighters to beat ISIS. Which is a bit like trying to beat masturbation by jerking off with the left hand instead of the right. This guy must be one of those assholes who thinks voting between Democrats and Republicans makes a difference. Except he's taken it to a whole new level. David Petruis is voting between Al-Qaeda and ISIS. But then again, what would you expect from a neocon cunt like David Petruis? An Illinois man, John Daniel, who had his residence raided and was arrested for satirizing his town's mayor on Twitter, received $125,000 in a civil rights lawsuit with the city of Peoria. $125,000! Holy shit! Man, I gotta start making fun of more people! And this concludes this edition of News from Deep Space. End transmission, over and out.